How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Will It Start? Today we're going to be working on this Wheel Horse C161. This is a one owner machine. It was bought brand new and stayed with the same guy its whole life. Um, it was abandoned for about two, three years. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get it started. Alright, so long story short with this tractor, as you can see it's got the cab, it's got a snow blower, I also got a fertilizer spreader and a little cart with it, wheel weights, chains, all that good stuff, it's a, it's a 16 horse K-series. So long story short, he said about two years ago, three years ago, his dad winterized the tractor, I believe, and they you know, drained the fuel, all that stuff, he went out to go try and start it, it cranks over fine, but it does not start. So that leads me to believe, if the, the fuel was drained out, that this right here is our culprit. For those of you who don't know, this is the points cover. The points are in there, pretty much two little metal contacts. And if they've sat, a little bit of corrosion gets on them and then they don't make you know, connection anymore. So we're gonna go ahead, run down back, get the tools I need for this. We're gonna clean those points, put a little bit more fresh gas in it, get a jump pack, and we're gonna see if this thing wants to start. It's already starting to get dark. I wanna hear this thing run before it gets fully dark. So let's get to work. Well, first things first, let's go ahead I open up the cab. Let's take a look and sniff at this gas. See if it's any good. Let's take a look and a smell here. There's gas in there. I've smelled worse. I've smelled a lot better too. Let's see if we can see in there at all. It doesn't look great. So I don't know how recently he did put gas in it see we do have a key good I brought an extra one just in case let's go ahead and put a jump pack on it and we're gonna go ahead and put a spark tester on it before I go ahead and pull the points cover and do all that stuff because if it is a fuel issue then cleaning the points isn't gonna really help anything with that all right let's take a look underneath the hood here battery flew forward a little bit that's all right yeah the battery cable there the hold down cable Hold down fell off, that's okay. Not the end of the world. I did already check the oil at the guy's house. Oil all looks good. Uh, so let's put these in here for now. Wanna make sure that we're in somewhere around neutral. There we go. All right, let's get the jump pack hooked up and see if uh, she wants to crank over. All right, jump pack is hooked up. We got the spark tester on there. Figured I might as well just go for it now. Uh, I don't know if it has any safety switches. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, we got spark. You see, that's why I always test it. And that's why I always tell people to test it before you go doing work because the guy told me he had good fuel in it, but it didn't start. So I figured it was gonna be points. But as you can see, I think it's a case of bad gas. Um, and just, yeah, that's it, just bad gas. Um, so let's take a look inside the air cleaner here. Take a look in there. And there's nothing jumping out at me that says like, oh, this thing's filthy. I mean, it looks pretty clean. Um, I'm actually just gonna try and crank it with maybe full choke and throttle, see if we can get any type of popping, sputtering, anything like that. Um, take the spark tester off, you know it's got spark. That's good, good news. So, all right, let's see what we can do. All right, got some carb cleaner in there. Let's see what she wants to do. <laughs> is a carb issue, I believe. Yep, all right, so uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but this thing is so close to being running. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in my back garage, and uh, after dinner, I will go back down, and uh, we'll get this carburetor pulled off. I'll drain the tank, more than likely. Um, cause there's a couple other issues that it could be, uh, it could be fuel pump, obviously. Uh, it's probably carburetor and mixed with bad fuel. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. So she's inside. 
Went ahead and pulled the fuel line off. I'm gonna go ahead, crank it over and see if the fuel pump is pumping uh, because that also could be a problem and uh, maybe the carburetor is perfectly clean and it's just not pumping properly. So let me get the battery charger hooked back up and we'll give it a shot. All right, let's uh, give her the old crank, see what happens. <laughs> So no, no fuel. Um, so that's good and bad. Uh, that could mean we have a clogged line. There's a clogged filter somewhere. It is old fuel line. I'm gonna go ahead and rig up a test tank and see if it'll run on its own uh, just off of a gravity feed test tank. All right, well, we got the test tank on. Now I gotta try and figure out how I'm gonna hold this test tank, hold the phone and crank it over. So uh, that ought to be interesting. Put the choke on, get that like that, let's see. There's the fuel, there's the fuel coming out of there. Wow, it runs really good, right off the bat, no touching the carb, nothing, it actually runs really nice. That's awesome. All right, let's give this a shot again. I put a little bit of stabilizer in the tank, so let's see. Yeah, it doesn't want to burn that fuel. Oof. Jesus. our question will it run is yes it will run and this is a this is one of the good ones where it just runs super easily there's always a fun time when you can get something and you don't have to order parts for it or anything like that there's a quick cleaning look it over check everything out and we're back in business it runs good it's charging um, it drives around good the headlights are about as dim as anything I've ever seen in my life they're horrible but they look original this tractor is going to clean up really nice. The cab is in pretty decent shape. It's not terrible. It's not great. This will make a really cool look. The taillights even work too. That's awesome. Check that out. This is going to make someone a really awesome plow rig or snow blower rig, whatever they decide to do with it. It's pretty clean. You can tell it definitely was taken care of. It's been repainted. And it's got all kinds of different things on it. And where this is, where that is, you know, brake, choke, brake, all that good stuff, front and back, up and down. They really did care about this tractor, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Like you, you can hear it, it runs great. Hydraulics go up and down. Nice, easy Will It Start video. I've got like five or six other Will It Start videos waiting to get made, um, and I'm just waiting on parts and waiting on time to get to them and stuff like that. So this being this easy, this is a dream come true. Well, there she is. So uh, hooked the uh, snowblower up on it, got the snowblower working, up and down hydraulics work, all that good stuff. You can angle the chute right from the driver's seat. It runs and drives real well. I uh, did end up uh, cleaning the points on it, putting a new air filter on it. I put some carb and injector cleaner in the tank, which usually helps these out, especially if they've been sitting for a while. I filled the tank up with some more fresh gas. 
Um, it stumbled once or twice, but everything seems good on it. I may end up pulling that carb and putting a kit in it, but I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, all the headlights, taillights work, everything like that. It's got some nice chains on it, got some nice weights. So uh, there you go. You know, when the cab does close, I just don't want to keep closing it if I'm opening it every five seconds. But yeah, no smoke, no knocking. Engine runs real strong, sounds good. It's a great looking tractor. I'm um, very, very happy with it. This thing's great. I'm uh, looking forward to listing it up for sale here soon and finding someone who is really excited to use it and, uh, you know, give it some purpose in life again because it's been sitting for a while. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.